With both candidates courting the crucial black vote, this morning Team Trump is playing cleanup after these remarks from the president's senior advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner. One thing we've seen in a lot of the, 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 the black community, which is mostly Democrat, is that uh, President Trump's policies are the policies that can help people break out of the problems that they're complaining about, but he can't want them to be successful more than they want to be successful. Biden campaign surrogates pouncing. First of all, black people are not complaining. They are articulating the systematic racism that has been in this country. And from the Democratic National Committee, this dismissive approach to the issues that black voters care about is indicative of Trump's callousness and disregard for the lives of black people. The White House says Kushner's words were taken out of context. This year, the number of eligible black voters has hit an all-time high, with both sides scrambling for their support. If young black women and men vote, you can determine the outcome of this election. Not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody done what I've done for the black community. Among black voters, there is no shortage of engagement. A recent NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows more than three quarters of all black voters plan to vote early. No justice! No peace! A group especially energized after months of protests over racial injustice. Is that what drives you to come out and vote? Uh, for the most part, yes. Right. Yes, just to see people who look like myself who are just being being attacked just because of the color of their skin. That same poll shows 91 percent of black voters back Biden, while 4 percent support President Trump. Nia Moore, a college student in Minnesota, is one of them. This is your first presidential election. Why are you supporting President Trump? When I just kind of look at what President Trump has accomplished or the things that he's promised in comparison to Joe Biden, the answer is pretty clear to me. In Georgia, Tony Carter is also voting early for Biden, but he says that was not a given. You were open to both sides. Yes, I'm not just going to vote blindly because that doesn't mean that somebody's going to be right just because they're Democrat. So I have to listen. With a family income less than 125. Now here in Georgia, officials have been urging, now here in Georgia, officials have been urging people to come out and vote early. They're hoping that it means more manageable crowds on election day. But for so many black voters, it actually goes deeper than that. I've spoken with several dozen voters during this early voting period, and they say that after all of the trouble and backlog we saw during Georgia's primary, they're coming out early to make sure that nothing goes wrong. They're concerned with things like long lines or trouble with technology, and they say that their early voting to make sure they have a chance to troubleshoot and make sure that their vote actually counts.